to the McLaren press conference. Thank you very much for being here. McLaren have had a storming year. Let's hear more then uh, from McLaren Automotive CEO, Mike Fluett. We delivered more than 1,650 cars to customers. It was the end of the build of P1, a car that's, I think, already become iconic. It's actually a customer's car. They returned it to us to have this beautiful visual carbon fibre fitted by McLaren Special Operations. The LT, or long tail brand, is something that's very important to us, signifying more power, less weight, more advanced driving dynamics. Within two weeks, all 500 cars were ordered. If anyone's disappointed, they could always look at the sports series, and this has had a huge impact on McLaren. We launched this car in New York to tremendous acclaim. Always intended to develop the sports series into a, a family of cars. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud this morning to present to you the McLaren 570 GT. That is one beautiful car, I am sure you will agree. Let's hear more now from the man who designed it there, the inimitable Frank Stephenson. I'm going to guide you briefly through the car. It's an exciting design. Uh, McLaren's always pushing innovation and love at first sight. We're always influenced by nature, by biomimicry. It's almost a scientific way of approaching design. Panoramic glass roof. What you can see on the rear is basically we have something that changes from the S to the GT with a very sloping roof line. And then we have something even more special. We call it the touring deck. And it provides an additional luggage space sufficient for two overnight bags. The GT is, in a sense, more about the journey, more about luxury, more about practicality. It's pure McLaren DNA, but with a luxury touch. Products, you got sorted. What about the broader business plan now? We've redefined our business plan for the coming six years. It takes us out to 2022. We've called it Track 22. We're going to be investing a billion pounds during that six years just in new product development. It'll be no surprise to anybody to know that there's a spider version of the car coming along in 2017. And during that six years, we'll launch another engine family that will run alongside the existing V8. We're developing hybrids for further out in the product range. And by 2022, more than 50% of our cars will be hybrid. But let's go out even further. We will be driving electric cars one day. The challenge for us is developing an electric car that is as stunning, engaging, exciting to drive as an LT and a P1. We've started to develop a, a concept car, a prototype, to experiment with that and understand how we can produce that same engagement. Fully confident in our engineering team. They have delivered these amazing products here by using the latest technology. They'll use the latest powertrain technology to produce the best sports cars in the world. Well, Mike, Frank, thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, McLaren Automotive.